I will commend the efforts that have been made by the international community. I will uh, thank the United Nations for hosting this very important conference on uh, the, uh, addressing our plans on Ebola recovery. Uh, this is part of the response. Um, <clears throat> the response have helped us to uh, contain the disease. We are not yet out of the woods. Uh, Ebola is still out there. Uh, from the, the experience Liberia has been through recently, it is now becoming very clear that it is not only a question of getting to zero and staying at zero, but um, we have to build our resilience and we have to build a kind of a health system that will have the capacity to respond at any future outbreak. And I believe with this, the international community has been supportive and together, uh, based on the outcome of this conference, we'll be able to build that resilient system that will enable us to fight future outbreaks. Not a week, but I believe that we'll get to zero very soon. Um, we have now reduced the uh, uh, new cases substantially. Uh, last November, we were registering 500 cases per week. Now we are in the region of eight and we also have really narrowed down the new incidents to locations wherein we can deploy the resources at hand to ensure that uh, very soon we contain the situation. I will want to commend the people out there for their resilience. Um, what is left for us to do is to continue to take the ownership at community level. We now have the resources, uh, the capacity to fight. Uh, we'll continue to appeal to the people um, to be patient and uh, uh, work with uh, the Ebola response teams so that together we can get out of this very terrible disease that has distracted our, our growth and that have caused a lot of social and other economic problems.